If this video was helpful, please subscribe. If you need to get rid of this funnel filter looking thing by your mouse, you simply push F6 and it is gone. Um, and to toggle it back, you simply push F6 again. Uh, what this does, if you're wondering, is this is a filter that limits selection. So notice the only thing that I can highlight or select with my mouse with this filter on is edges. Um, I, can, I, I can change that setting as well. I simply push the F5 button to toggle this menu, or if, if the key that you choose doesn't work, you can also say Tools, Customize, you choose Selection Filter, just check that box, and then you can select this button to turn the filter on or off if the hotkey does not work for some reason. Notice um, I can select this button and I can choose filter faces. So now I can choose only faces and edges. Uh, I can add points to this if I want to. Now I can choose points like that point right there. So this is a way of uh, being able to limit the, what you're able to select in SolidWorks ostensibly because there is some feature on top of what you're trying to select that is getting selected anyway. So filters can be very handy. They can be very annoying if, you, if they're there and you don't know how to get rid of them. So again, we can hide this menu by pushing F5, and we can unselect our filters by pushing F6. Interestingly enough, um, if I push the E key, E like Edward, um, it can toggle through the things that I selected. So for instance, edges is one of the things that I can filter um, by simply pushing the E key, I can toggle edges on and off. So have fun with those hotkeys, and uh, if this video was helpful, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.